We end tonight with a man who has dedicated his life to saving lives and training others to do the same. They live in a place that has seen far too much death, a tough section of New York City, and Benita Nyer is there. Volunteers from the Bedford Stuyvesant Ambulance Corps are trained to expect the worst. In this Brooklyn neighborhood, shootings and stabbings happen often. On this trip, a woman was having trouble breathing. Your job is to try to resuscitate them, bring them back to life, then let the emergency room work on them. The man behind the EMT training is 74-year-old James Robinson, a retired EMS captain. I want to teach them how to save a life instead of taking a life. Raise the level of their thinking, and they could be anything that they want to be. You know, people respect me when I wear this uniform. 30-year-old Isaac Rodriguez used to sell drugs. Now he's training to be an EMT. This place woke me up, you know, seeing so much positive is like, I want to do that too. You know, I want to be a part of that. Was it hard to give up your old lifestyle? In a way it was because um, you're surrounded by it. So you Over the years, Robinson has trained more than a thousand neighborhood kids. He funds 85% of the program with his pension and a reverse mortgage. Donations make up the rest. Thank you so much, brother. The money pays for uniforms and supplies, as well as two ambulances that are staffed by a certified EMT. You've told me yourself you're not a wealthy man. In the course of the 26 years, did you ever think, why am I doing this? I don't think I could do nothing else <laughs> because, uh, you know, everybody has a mission in life. And I didn't realize my mission in life until I actually got into it. At least 90% of Robinson's students go on to pass the state licensing exam and get a full-time job as an EMT. Some of them come back to volunteer and train the next batch of recruits. Vanita Nyer, CBS News, Brooklyn, New York.